What's up everybody? I am not a software engineer, but today we're going to talk about building a Python script that will help us to brute force 12 word seeds, such as the ones that you would see when creating a MetaMask wallet. So what I have here is a giant list of words, and this list of words contains, I want to say, I mean, tens of thousands of common words in the English uh, language. And I think there's even some somewhat offensive words in here, just uh, <laughs> full disclosure. Uh, in any case, I haven't really gone through all of them because, like I said, there's tens of thousands of them. But what I wanted to do is go ahead and uh, save this file. And we're just going to make sure that that's right. And it looks like it is. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do now is just rename this. Uh, I'm just going to call it, I guess, word list. Um, so I'll just do a move and then word list dot text. And we can actually close this in the background here. Um, yeah. So now I have my word list dot text and. Um, what I can do is, you know, when looking at MetaMask uh, seed phrases in the past, right, I kind of noticed that the vast majority of the words are either four, five, six, or seven characters long. Um, so there's obviously some words here like abbreviating and stuff like that that are beyond that seven letter max. Uh, and I think there's probably also some that are less than four. I'm not 100% sure. I don't see any right here. But what I'd like to do is kind of look through this list, and I'd like to get a couple of sublists, right? And in those sublists, I'd like some that have four-letter words, some with five, some with six, and some with seven. And that's basically, those four lists uh, are basically going to um, create our pool of things to choose from when generating uh, random seeds. And within VS Code, uh, we obviously see this, but it's just the wordless.txt file um, and not actually the Python file, which is kind of what we're going to be using uh, to generate these 12 word strings. So in order to begin, I'm just going to go ahead and create gen list.py. So what we're going to want to do at this point is open a new terminal, as you see here. Um, and that will let us kind of just run uh, the script once we're ready. So what I'm going to do first is just basically see if I can load wordlist.txt and output everything from it, right? So this is just creating the very like bare bones script. Can we read from it and can we print each line? Uh, in order to do that, I can just do with open uh, wordlist wordlist.txt as wordlist. And then I can do for line in word list, print line. Um, now, I don't know exactly if, that, if that's going to have like some weird, uh, it might print like additional new lines or something like that, but we're going to just run it and see what happens. So yeah, you can actually see, and of course this is, uh, <laughs> so you can see that it's doing like this extra new line. So in order to get that uh, or prevent that from happening, you can just do a dot strip. Uh, with basically it's just going to get rid of that extra new line. So if I did that again, um, okay, so that's basically what we would expect. So it's going through line by line, it's getting rid of the extra new line character, and uh, it looks good. So now what I want to do is I want to start creating these sublists. Um, and again, I want four, five, six, and seven character lists because that's what MetaMask seems to use. Um, it, they, it might be uh, a little different than that, but based on what I've seen, um, and you know, for the purpose of this video, that's good enough uh, for me. So what I'd like to do at this point is just go ahead and uh, create those lists and we'll just leave them blank, right? So I'm gonna call them fours, fives, sixes, sevens, and yeah, they're all just empty lists at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and read line by line through this list, and then I'm going to just have a bunch of if statements to say, hey, if it's four, if the length is four, add it to fours, five, five, sixes, so on and so forth. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is, um, 
we're going to want to grab the uh, each line, right? So I'm going to say if the length of line dot strip equals four, then I'm going to fours dot append, and then again we want the line dot strip um, to be appended. And then just to test that, I'm just going to print fours at the end, right? And I should just get um, a huge list of four-letter words. And that appears to be the case. These all look like they're four, four letters. Um, yeah, and so I can actually get the length of that as well, right? Uh, just put the len right here and then go add another parentheses and then just run that. So it looks like that equals 2,294 words in that list. Um, so that's something to go on. So what I'm going to do is I, I want all of these lists to have the same number of words, right? So that we're not um, accidentally uh, choosing from, or I just want them to have the same probability. Like any given word has has, has the same probability as um, another word in one of the other length uh, lists, right? So any arbitrary word like, for example, wolf has the same percent chance of getting chosen as, you know, let's just say apple, right, uh, in the fives list. So in order to do that without getting too crazy, I think I can just make sure that they all have the same number of words uh, within them. So in order to do that, uh, I need to kind of move on and create my other three lists. And we'll go ahead and start that with another if statement. I'm actually going to do an elif. And then I'm going to do, I basically copy and paste this here. Um, and then we'll just make that five, right? And then I'm going to do that again. Six. And elif. Seven. All right, so those are my remainder if statements. Uh, and then I'll just do basically the same thing, but we'll make that fives, sixes, and finally sevens. So that should give us uh, lists that are now populated at this point. So I can just, for example, um, make sure, right, by copying and pasting this. So now we're just getting the, the length, the number of words of each of those lists at this point. Okay, so that was not expected. I see that there's actually a wildly different number of words in each other list. Um, so at this point, it would be, again, going back to that probability thing, right? Any given word is less likely to be drawn. Uh, I, I don't think it matters a ton for just brute forcing you know, random 12 word strings, but if we're just trying to kind of have the same probability across um, all of them, then, you know, I would like there to be some uniformity there. So in order to tackle that problem, um, what I can basically do is I can say, okay, select a random word, create a new list, and then for the length of the shortest uh, list, which is fours, right? Um, then go ahead and pick a random word from, for example, fives, and then add it to the new fives list uh, until you hit that uh, 2,294 words, right? And the reason I do random is just because I, I don't want to get like the first 2,294 words um, because that wouldn't that would like stop you know halfway through the alphabet or whatever in the M or N area, which I don't want to do. Um, I'd like to have, you know, an even distribution across um, the entire alphabet. So I can basically just do a random choice. The problem with that is I might get duplicates. So I basically need to have some kind of logic that says if my random choice is not already in the new fives list, then I can append it, right? So that's basically the logic that I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these print statements for now. Actually, no, I'll leave them. Uh, I'll just comment them out, right? So I'll do a toggle line comment, and we'll go down here. And I'm going to create, like I said, three new lists. And I'm just going to call them fives less, sixes less, and sevens less. Um, and we'll just have them be empty for now. 
Okay, so now I'm going to begin my for loop. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is iterate through um, for a total number of 2,294 times. So the way that I would do that would be, I need like a counter. So I'm going to do like a fives counter. And then I'm going to make that zero and I'm going to have a while loop that basically says while fives counter is less than the length of fours. Um, then what I'm going to do at that point is say um, I, need to, I need to have like a rand five equals random dot choice fives. And uh, I have not imported random yet, so I need to do that. Okay, so ran5 equals random.choice fives, and then I'll basically say if ran5 not in fives less, then uh, we're going to just fives less dot append ran5. So then at the end of that, I can just print len fives less, and it should be 2,294. I forgot a colon. Oh, and I have an infinite loop right here. <laughs> the reason I have an infinite loop uh, is because I didn't actually increment my counter. So um, basically, if we append this, then we need to fives counter plus equals one. Okay. So now we get a new list called fives less, and it ends up being 2,294 characters long, which is the target that we're going for. Um, so at this point, what I can do um, is I'm going to copy and paste this, and uh, I will edit it to have fives, sixes, and then finally sevens. And then I'm going to actually just leave that for now. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste this block of code uh, and then modify it. And I think that should be good enough. So yeah, now all of our lists are getting to the proper 2,294 word count. Um, so basically what we want to do now is select just a random number or a random word from a random one of those lists, right? And then we want to compose a 12-word uh, string. And that's basically what would kind of resemble a MetaMask seed. Okay, so what I want to do now is have like a seed counter, and I'm just going to have that as zero, right? And so now I can have another while loop. While seed counter is less than whatever your desired number of seeds is. For now, I'll just do one. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is have seed equals, and then we're just going to give this a list, and um, then I'm going to do a um, while len seed is less than 12. Then what I would want to do is have basically select a random word, right? So I'm going to have um, four lists at this point, fours, and then these three. Right, so my choices essentially are going to be a list in and of themselves. So I'm going to call choices, uh, and I'm going to create that a new list. Right, I'm going to have it be fours, fives less, sixes less, and sevens less. So then what I'm going to do is basically say um, word choice equals random dot choice choices right and then I'm going to basically say um, actually word length choice that's a better variable name I think so now I'm gonna have word choice equals random dot choice word length choice and then I'm just gonna have seed dot append word choice Okay, and at the end of this, then I can basically just print my seed. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. Um, actually, I can do this. I think I need to do this within the while loop. So we'll just do that here and see what that looks like. Okay, so I have an infinite loop again. 
<laughs> and uh, it's the same exact reason as the other one. And that is because I didn't actually increment this. So um, when I am done creating my 12 word seed, then I need to uh, seed counter plus equals one, uh, increment that, right? And now I can try it again. And I get this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. Um, there is an example of a seed that resembles something you would see in MetaMask. Do not use this for nefarious purposes. This is basically just a learning exercise and saying, oh, okay, could I create these kind of random seeds um, using a dictionary list or a word list similar to the one that I was able to find on GitHub. Um, and we were able to basically create a Python script to do just that. So um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.